This video shows how to make the regular octahedron as part of the nested set of platonic solids. Like the tetrahedron, the octahedron is made up of equilateral triangles. Octa means eight, so it has eight equilateral triangles. Where the tetrahedron has three triangles meeting at a vertex, the octahedron has four triangles meeting at a vertex. The octahedron fits inside the tetrahedron in the nested set. With each vertex of the octahedron at the midpoint of each edge of the tetrahedron. Here is a stick figure view. The tetrahedron's edge length is 5.6 centimeters. Cut in half, this gives an edge length of 2.8 centimeters for the octahedron. This, however, is gonna to be too big. Cardboard has thickness, folds add to the size, and we're not always accurate. So let's subtract two millimeters, and therefore we're gonna make the edges of the octahedron 2.6 centimeters long. In the nested set, another figure fits inside the octahedron, so we want to be able to open it up, put the other figure inside. So, constructed this way, we see that the octahedron is made up of two square-based pyramids hinged together, and that is a good place to start drawing the net. Start with the hinge. Here's the hinge. Add two triangles on either side of the hinge. Then wrap three more triangles around these two triangles. This will give us four triangles on each side of the hinge. These four will form a pyramid. and these four will form the pyramid. Now, to keep the octahedron closed, well, we need to add two flaps to connect the pyramids. And to keep the octahedron closed, add an extra triangle for a door. So we're going to put an extra triangle right here. It actually gives us nine triangles. We only need eight for the octahedron, but this will wrap on the outside of this side. And then we want to add a slot, at least mark it now, to be cut later for the door to slip into. Since these are equilateral triangles, 60 degrees forming a straight line, there's a nice long segment for us to start constructing, or uh, doing our actual construction. Take a small piece of cardboard, this will be the smallest of the nested set, so don't use a great big piece. From the edge, move up around three centimeters and draw a segment. We need to put four triangles on that segment, so it has to be about 12 centimeters long to work. Mark a point on one end. Measure carefully our edge length, 2.6 centimeters. And we're going to use this to construct the whole figure. Open your compass to that length and construct the eight equal outer triangles, nine counting the door.
Right here are the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine triangles. This one will be the door. And we want to add a mark a segment on this side that we will cut later for the door to slide into. Add the flaps. Here is the full net of the octahedron with the door, the flaps, and the slot. Next, cut it out. After you cut it out, make sure you score all the marked segments except the door, uh, the door slot, and then fold it. Here's the net. All the uh, segments have been scored and folded. I now need to put a slot through here. In my classroom, I have one knife that I keep at the front of the classroom and I have my students bring their projects up. I just make a slice, open up the slot, and it's ready for the students to glue. To glue it, you only want to glue the two tabs. <clears throat> if you fold it backwards on this segment to get the two um, square base pyramids, you can glue on one tab here, one tab here, and a single clothespin to hold them together. and pin them closed, set it aside. Wait until the glue dries and open it up. Don't forget to put your initials inside in ink. Then you can test to make sure it closes. Put the flap inside the slot and you should have a nice octahedron that opens up for the last for another figure inside.